let's find some fires. Well, now we come to 1979. This 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 part of our life. Um, and Julia and I were we're we're talking we're talking out on the deck as we often do. Both fucking hammered. It's the middle of summer. It's it's 9:30 at night and the heat still radiates off the high desert. And Julia hits me with that question that I've been dreading ever since. I thought I thought maybe I thought maybe the dog, I thought maybe Mayhem would uh, distract her long enough um, until, I don't know, maybe she got hit by a train or something. And I'd never get hit with this question from Julia, but there she goes. It's fucking 9.30 at night in the middle of summer, sweating balls drunk off our ass, and Julia looks at me and says, What do you think about kids, Henry? What do you think about kids? And I say, I fucking hate kids. We'd be terrible parents. We hate each other. Or so I said in my head. What I said out loud to Julia was kids, I mean, they're pretty fucking stupid, and they're not really good at much. I mean, I, I'm, I'm saying if you and I have some, uh, we'd definitely raise a couple of fucking idiots. I mean, look at us, Julia. We're, we're, we're a train wreck here. And I, but... Hmm, that would be pretty good, or one day, why rush? Hmm. I think it would be funnier if I say that would be pretty good. That would be pretty good, Julia. Let's pop out a couple of fucking idiot kids. Ah, oh, shit. Well, in that case, we should probably get married. Ah, oh, fuck. Didn't see that one coming. Julia blindsides me with the marriage proposal. Oh, God, and I say, yeah, fucking didn't think that one through. God damn it, yeah, I guess, uh, I guess I would like that. Oh, fuck, what has happened to my life? Um, these kids are going to be pretty fucked up enough. It's, uh, probably best that their parents are hitched. Make a lifelong commitment to their misery together, right? That's what kids need, huh? Julia was in total agreement with me on that one. So I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely right. Man. That was a very... A lot of stuff happened in that truck ride there. Oh, man. Got a dog. Made some kids. Got married. Man. What a road trip. What a road trip. All right. So what... What's happening here? Did I... Did I leave Julia and the kids in Mayhem? Could I finally not take it anymore? And I hopped in my old beat-up pickup truck and... Headed straight for the mountains to get away? To become a hermit? To live amongst the trees and the wild animals? And the squirrels? Let's see. Where am I? When, where, where did I end up? I'm at the Thorafair Trailhead. I'm in, apparently I'm in bear country. Apparently I came up here to commit suicide by bear. It's not a bad way to go out. Turned out pretty well for Timothy Treadwell. Let's see. Whoop, I'm passing out again. I must have got too fucked up on that car ride. Okay, well it's, <laughs> Now 1980, am I remembering all these things that are happening? It appears that maybe I'm remembering my life with Julia. Maybe something went awry. And Julia and I are no more. Maybe she was barren. Maybe she couldn't have kids, and the stress of that caused us to uh, finally split. But anyway, it's a Thursday night in 1980. And Julia is four hours late. Um... Is this relating to pregnancy or promptness? She doesn't call. I'm worried. I'm getting angrier by the minute. She said she'd be here. She's late for our Thursday night drunken debaucheries. So I say fuck it and I go to bed. 
but she walks in. Um, she's she's not quite drunk, but <laughs> she's not that drunk. But she's clearly been having a fun time. We fight when she gets between the sheets. Um, I get I get real mad at this because God damn it, Julia, we were, we were supposed to get drunk together tonight. It's Thursday drunk night. Julia, you went off without me. I I'm mad, Julia. I'm very mad. You inconsiderate asshole, you got... You partook in libations without me. And, well, she doesn't take too kindly to that, and she tells me to fuck off and fuck myself and uh, to not be such a baby. And I call her selfish. Because how dare she speak of babies when we're trying to conceive. She, she knows I have... Uh, now, yeah, what would it be? Difficulties? I have performance anxiety. And she knows that that one, that one, that one cut real deep. And, uh, it, it hurt her feelings. Then, jump to 1981. Julia still likes to draw. Hmm. Up to this point, I was unaware of her, her uh, affinity for, uh, sketches, but uh, she likes to draw plants in all, all the places that we go. She draws me. Sometimes I pose and flex like He-Man. And sometimes I frolic around like a Victoria's Secret model, more of a She-Man. Um, but in this particular instance, I threw on some lacy women's undergarments and just started dropping it like it's b fucking hot for Julia and she started sketching me. And we both catch each other's eye and chuckle to ourselves remembering that yes, Julia was right that one night long, long ago. I am a very, very pretty man. Ha 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 ha. Oh, reminiscence. Ah. Alright, where are the fires?